at the end of this tutorial we will have this page when you click and play a prompts pop up and ask you to enter a number between minimum and maximum number which is one and five in this case if you put a number like one it shows you the result and hint is low and your uh, your previous guesses is one when you click ok you need to enter another number to find the secret number i enter two and also i get the same result so i need to increase the number to get that uh, secret number i guess enter three same result four and also same and five and you see congrats you guessed the number in five guesses that's the game we're gonna implement together very good to start let's open vs code and from file menu create a new file then you will have this window here i'm going to save this file like a html file i want to name it game.html uh, to create a uh, you know the empty html file put html column 5 and press tab so you will have a very simple document and set the title the guess number inside uh, this inside the body create a script tag because we are going to put some, uh, some JavaScript code here and inside that let us start by defining some constant the first constant is gonna be min and the minimum value for the number is one the second one is max and the maximum value to guess is five uh, and the next uh, constant uh, will be previous guesses and it's like an empty array because we're gonna put uh, user guesses inside this array great so far uh, we have defined the constant let's define some variable the first variable is gonna be secret number secret num and by default it's null and the second one is guess number the number that user guesses and it's gonna be null by default very good uh, let's create function play and the function play is like a function and inside that function we need to create a loop and inside the loop uh, we call another function which is guess num function and compare the result value of this function with uh, the secret num if they are not equal the loop is gonna run uh, here I check the value of guess number you know inside inside the guess number function let let me rename it to guess number inside the guess number function the value of guess number will be put inside the guess num variable we defined here and if it's not zero it means that it's a valid number and if it is valid i call render function to you know show the uh, behavior based on the guess number so so far i created uh, uh, the play and what i need to do is to create a dev and inside dev i'm going to create h1 and the title of this HTML file is going to be the guess number and next uh, and right after h1 I'm going to put button and when user click on button I'm gonna you know the function play will be called and inside the play button I put caption play 
that's it let's see how let's see the game right click on the game.html and select reveal in folder and then you will have the finder here if you double click you will have uh, you know the guest number and the play button uh, right click and select inspect and go to the console when you click on the play button you will get an error which shows that the function guest number is not defined let's define guest number right after the play function define const guest number function like this i'm defining you know using function expression instead of function declaration because it's very easy to convert this code to an object here i'm going to put the guest number with the number that the user entered so guess number is gonna i'm going to use i'm using prompt to get a, a number from user and the a message to get the number is gonna be enter a number between and between what and what mean and here I'm using max and I put the number here and then return guess number okay so far I have implemented the guess number and return the guess number so let's say in the result refresh the page and click on play button you see enter a number between one and five and if I put two and click OK, you see there is an error and it shows that the render is not defined. Let's define the render function. I'm going to define the render function comes render and inside the function render, I'm going to check the, you know, um, to show the, I'm going to use if condition, if guess number, is greater than secret number I'm going to show an alert that uh, to high and else alert to low that's great so the last part is the right before the play uh, button because I need to uh, set the secret number with a random number so secret number is gonna be math dot random but the random is a floating point number between one and zero so I need to multiply it by max minus mean plus one and then I'm going to use math.floor to make it a you know integer number and then I plus it with min to be in the range of min and max. Let's check the program to see how it goes. You see, I refresh the page. One, too low, two, too low, three. And you see, the number was three, but I need to show a message right after while and here I'm going to show congrats your previous guesses 
where and here I'm going to show the previous guesses previous guesses array but it's empty I need to fill previous guesses when the guesses happens you know right here inside uh, the you know inside the render function it shows the previous guesses so here I just using previous guesses and push method of array to add the guess to the array so let's check the result refresh the page and play button one you see congrats your previous guesses so there was no previous guesses let's uh, you know let's move this uh, you know congrats uh, I'm going to show the number was and here I want to show the number to the user and the number is secret num yeah let's say the result refresh one two low two two low three two low four two low five Congrats, the number was five. Your previous guesses were one, two, three, four. You see, that's a uh, you know, very helpful game, interesting and fun game. But to make it like this, make the background black and make them centralized, I just using this style, like, you know, this style. If you check this, you know, right after the title, I'm using a style for body, set the background color black, the color text color white, and I'm using a div, set margin zero auto to make it center and set a width and text align center. Also, H1 font size is 50 pixels. So if here, if you refresh the page, you see change to like this and it's much, you know, professional. I click again to see too high so it's gonna be two is it congrats the number was two your previous guesses were three that's it for this course you see in this tutorial you have learned many stuff like you know defining variables defining functions using while loop using if condition and also using array to save you know the history of user guesses i hope you have enjoyed this game and put your comments here thank you bye bye